this is one of the tilt cylinders off the 430. I had a box grader attachment that I bought. I was playing around with it and I had it up in the air and I tilted it forward at full throttle and uh, I just wasn't even thinking about it and when it got to the when the tilt cylinders maxed out at the end of their stroke I guess the momentum was enough to where um, the uh, the stem here just snapped off there's supposed to be this is where the piston mounts and uh, yeah that just broke right off so what I'm going to try to do to fix it is just uh, cut the rest of it off flush and then bore a hole in it thread it and put in this stud that I got this is the nut from it this is just a 1 inch by 14 uh, threaded stud hopefully that'll work so alright slice the end off in the bandsaw and film that because it was really boring it did cut pretty easily though so hopefully it'll drill easily as well I've got the rod slid through the headstock on the lathe here. Getting it centered took a little bit of doing, but with the help of some Bush brand high quality genuine machinist shims, I got it set up to where it's about a half a thousandth out on the indicator. That's yeah, man, eh, maybe three quarters of a thousandth, but that's good enough for me. So I've got a chuck in the tailstock. I've got the tailstock centered. I'm gonna move this out of the way and center drill it, and go from there. stuff. should be. So we'll see how this goes. That's it. Can't hardly see it. Yep. All right. Well, here's what it looks like with the piston on there. It's kind of hard to see in this light, but I've still got to trim this down some and clean everything up, get all the chips and grease off of everything. Uh, Loctite the stud into the rod, torque everything down, well torque this nut down, and then install that into the barrel. Um, Put it back together, put it back on the machine, put the hoses on. It should be good to go. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call that a success. I'm really happy about that. 
I know this isn't the greatest video ever, but I just wanted to document this because it's kind of rare that I do a repair like this. But yeah, thanks for watching.